Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this video series, we're going to make a doll following the Amelie pattern, including all the hair, the clothes, and the shoes. And Amelie is 18 inches tall and can swap clothes with dolls like American Girl, Guts, and Our Generation, etc. All the other videos in the series are linked down below in a playlist, and you can find the link to the pattern down below as well. And now, let's get started. You will need yarn, a stitch marker, a crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a wool needle. And I'm using this 8 ply yarn here and a 3.0 millimeter hook. Wind the yarn around your finger twice, move the back strand over the front strand and again the strand that is now in the back over the one in the front. Pick the back strand up with your crochet hook and you have a loop. Chain as many stitches as you need in order to fit around the size of your doll's head and join the round with a slip stitch. I have a little crochet 101 crochet school video series on my channel. I'm going to link this down below in case you don't know how to do the slip knot or the chain stitches or the loop stitch that we're using here in this tutorial. Use your stitch marker to mark the beginnings of each round. I tend to forget that every time, so I remember it when I'm at the fourth or fifth round or something. <laughs> for round one to five for this wig, loop crochet into every loop, close the round with a slip stitch and chain one before continuing to the next round. So we will go round for five rounds, we will maintain the same width and then we will start decreasing to close the cap at the top. Just a little reminder that if you would like to learn the slip knot, the chain stitch, the loop stitch, etc., I have listed my Learn to Crochet for Beginner series down below under this video.
Finish the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round and chain one to start off the next round. Continue making a loop stitch into every stitch of the round for the next four rounds. So we'll have a total of five rounds completely with loop stitches all the way around. After finishing 5 rounds with a loop stitch in every stitch, I check if the wig fits and if I can start decreasing or if I need to make another round with a loop stitch into every single stitch of the round. It looks good and I think I can start decreasing now. Move the stitch marker up one row. After finishing off round 5 with a slip stitch and starting off round 6 with a chain stitch, loop stitch into the next 7 stitches. Then skip one, then loop stitch into the next seven stitches, skip one, etc. Skip one, then continue with loop stitches into the next seven stitches, skip one, etc. Until you come back to the beginning of the round. Move the stitch marker up one row. After finishing off round six with a slip stitch and starting off round seven with a chain stitch, loop stitch into the next six stitches, skip one, then loop stitch into the next six stitches, skip one, etc. all the way around. Skip one, then continue with loop stitches into the next six stitches, skip one, etc. Move the stitch marker up one row. 
after finishing off round 7 with a slip stitch and starting off round 8 with a chain stitch, loop stitch into the next 5 stitches, skip 1, then loop stitch into the next 5 stitches, skip 1, etc. all the way around. Skip 1, then continue with loop stitches into the next 5 stitches, skip 1, etc. Move the stitch marker up one row. After finishing off round 8 with a slip stitch and starting off round 9 with a chain stitch, loop stitch into the next 4 stitches, skip 1, then loop stitch into the next 4 stitches, skip 1, etc. All the way around. Skip 1, then continue with loop stitches into the next 4 stitches, skip 1, etc. Move the stitch marker up one row. After finishing off round 9 with a slip stitch and starting off round 10 with a chain stitch, loop stitch into the next 3 stitches, skip 1, then loop stitch into the next 3 stitches, skip 1, etc. All the way around. Skip 1, then continue with loop stitches into the next 3 stitches, skip 1, etc. Move the stitch marker up one row. After finishing off round 10 with a slip stitch and starting off round 11 with a chain stitch, loop stitch into the next 2 stitches, skip 1, then loop stitch into the next 2 stitches, skip 1, etc. all the way around. Skip 1, then continue with loop stitches into the next 2 stitches. Skip 1, etc. Remove the stitch marker and close the top of the wig by loop stitching into one stitch, then skip 1, loop stitch into the next one, skip 1, etc. I wouldn't say all the way around, but as long as it takes until you close the wig at the top. And if you feel that it gets too pointy, just stop a little bit early and then use your thread to close the little hole at the top of the wig.
cut off the yarn and pull it through the last loop. Thread a wool needle with the yarn and pull it through to the underside of the wig and weave the end of the yarn into the wig cap. And now I just have to check if the wig fits and if it looks good and it does. That's a nice color of hair for this doll, I think. If you like, you can cut open the loops and give the wig a nice haircut. And sometimes I don't cut them because I really like the look of the loops, but it might be more fun for little kids and girls to make little braids when the loops are cut open. Take a matching strong thread and anchor it under the wig on the head. Pin the wig to the head and sew it down with a ladder stitch. Or just with a regular stitch, whatever stitch works best for you.
You can go around several times and also under the wig and sew it down in several places, especially the top of the wig. Because mostly I'm just going around the outside of the wig, but it's also important to tack it down on the top of the wig here in a few places, especially if the doll is meant for a little child that loves to pull the doll by the hair all across the house. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen. I'm using Melissa and Doug crayons to blush the cheeks. I draw with a crayon on a piece of fabric and rub the fabric on the cheek in a circular motion until the cheeks are as red as I like them to be. I also uploaded a little tutorial for this where I explain it a little bit better. And I might just link this video down below as well. In the next video we are going to make the dress for the doll and then the bolero and the shoes as well and all the other videos are linked down below in the playlist as well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time, bye!